Hello everybody, this is Satya Malik and today I'm going to talk about the WeChat QR code scanner implemented in OpenCV 4.5.2. This is now part of OpenCV Contrib. It is not in the main OpenCV repository, but many people use OpenCV Contrib as default. So it's a good scanner to have. Now, OpenCV already had a QR code scanner and we have written about it in a previous blog post. So what's new in this WeChat QR code scanner? The first thing to note is that the WeChat QR code scanner is based on two convolutional neural networks. Uh, whereas, whereas the traditional QR code scanner implemented in OpenCV is based on traditional computer vision techniques. It is not a trained model whereas the v, WeChat QR code model is a trained model, which also means that suppose we see that, oh, it's not performing very well under certain circumstances, all we need to do is to retrain the model and it will start performing better. But as such, out of the box, it does a very good job. Uh, there are two convolutional neural networks which are part of this uh, WeChat QR code uh, scanner. The first one is an object detector which detects the QR code and the second one is a super resolution CNN model and the job of this CNN model is to enhance the image. If the resolution of the image of the QR code that we are getting is not good enough, then it enhances it using a super resolution uh, CNN model and makes it better for decoding and we will see how well it does in various circumstances. But before we start, let's just go over the code. You will see that the code is really easy to implement. Uh, it's literally three, four lines of code. Let's go over it. First of all, as I had mentioned that you will need to install um, the OpenCV contrib uh, module, which in Python is simply pip install OpenCV uh, contrib-python, openshivy-contrib-python. Now this is the entirety of the code. You can see that it is so simple. Uh, these lines from 6 to 12, they are simply displaying a bounding box. We have an image, we have a bounding box which is passed as a list and this, if you know Python, if you have used OpenCV before, this is a trivial code. All it's doing is displaying a bounding box on the image. And this piece of code here is initializing the detector. And as I had mentioned before, that the WeChat QR code detector requires us to uh, pass two different models. The first one is the detector model. And this model, it consists of two files. These are the two files. And these are CAFE model files. CAFE is a deep learning framework, which was very popular a few years back. Not so popular now, but this uh, model is available as a CAFE model file, which is fine. Uh, OpenCV is able to read them. And the first file called the proto.txt file in any CAFE model basically defines the architecture of the convolutional neural network. And the second file, which ends with .cafe model, uh, represents the weights that were trained. Uh, typically, this file is just a text file. You can look into the architecture by just uh, opening, it, opening it in any text editor. And uh, this one is a binary file. It consists of weights. So you can see here that there are two models. The, the first one is a cafe model for the detector. And the second one is a, a super resolution model for uh, enhancing the resolution of the image if the resolution is not sufficient. So once we have defined these, we go into the main function. We simply load an image. Either we load the sample code or if we have passed that image as part of uh, uh, the command line, they can, then we can read that image as well. And this is the main piece of uh, code, this is it. Uh, basically, we once we have initialized the detector using this line here, we can use this line which says detect and decode. It basically detects the location of the QR code and also decodes the QR code. And the output is basically the detected um, text. 
and uh, points is basically the coordinates of the bounding box that it has detected. And here it's just saying that if the length of um, this thing is greater than zero, which means something has been detected, then print out the output and print out the coordinates of the bounding box. That is it. So the steps were simply, you initialize the detector using the detection model as well as the super resolution model. We have provided both these models. They are available through OpenCV. And the second thing you do is basically use this um, detect and decode method, pass in the image and obtain the results. That's it, very, very simple. So now the second question is, you know, how does it work? You know, let's, let's simply run this code and see um, how it works. So it's called WeChat, oops. Okay, so we just passed, we are running the sample code here. And here you can see that uh, we have detected and the output is essentially, this QR code encodes the text, HTTP learnopencv.com. So how do you create these QR codes? Just Google, you will find several websites which allow you to create these QR codes uh, given some text. So you can put in some text and it will create these uh, QR codes. So, okay, uh, now what? Now let's do a comparison of the traditional QR code model that comes with OpenCV and the new WeChat QR code model. So let's run this and see how it goes. Uh, let's, okay, that's me. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to show this, um, I'm going to show the results on my phone. I have uh, downloaded some QR code. So this one is the first QR code. You can see that they both do uh, a good job. There is a bounding box uh, around both of them. And it's basically a quote from uh, Asimov. Any, oh, actually this is from Arthur C. Clarke. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Okay, so that's what the QR code encodes. And you can see that they are both doing a reasonable job, but um, you can see that the WeChat QR code is definitely more stable. If I bring it closer, then both of them do uh, a very good job. You can tilt it uh, this way or the other, and they both do a reasonable job. Now, as we know that the WeChat QR code scanner has a super resolution uh, model inside it. Let's see how it does. We are going to move this back. And at some point, the WeChat QR code will start, uh, will keep recognizing, but the OpenCV default model will not. On the right hand side, we have the WeChat QR code, um, QR code detector. And on the left hand side, we have the, uh, the OpenCV QR code. You can see that the OpenCV default QR code detector had stop, has stopped working. It's the exact same video stream, but the WeChat one is still working. Basically, it's using the su super resolution feature to enhance, um, enhance the uh, results. All right, so the other thing uh, you will note is um, that the QR code bounding boxes, they are returned slightly differently. The OpenCV, uh, one retect, uh, returns a bounding box that is uh, basically the four corners, whereas the QR, uh, the WeChat QR code returns the bounding box, which are not the four corners of the, it basically contains the QR code, but these are not the four corners of the QR code. And uh, that's just an implementation detail, nothing, you know, uh, it's the, it's not a fundamental problem uh, with it. We can always, uh, once once we have detected these boxes, we can always find the uh, three points on the WeChat QR code and rectify it. So, um, okay, so that was the first demo. The second one is this. Um, this is a quote by Asimov. 
it says that the saddest aspect of life right now is that the science gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom. So true in these times. And you can see here that uh, this is a bigger QR code. It is encoding a lot more text. And for some reason, OpenCV doesn't detect uh, it at all. Uh, let's bring it closer. Uh, it doesn't decode it. It doesn't detect it. And I don't really know why it doesn't. It should uh, do a good job here, but it doesn't. But anyways, uh, WeChat does a pretty good job. Now, let's go for an even more uh, complex uh, one. And this, this is again a quote from Neil Stephenson. And you can, uh, you can see that WeChat is doing uh, a better job. Let me bring it in focus so that both of them get a good chance, go to, get a good shot. And again, you can see that OpenCV does very well when the resolution is good and you know uh, there is less ambiguity. But with these kinds of uh, things, OpenCV takes a much longer time. The OpenCV default detector actually takes um, a few seconds or sorry, a few hundred milliseconds to do the detection, whereas uh, the WeChat uh, does it in 30 milliseconds or so. And uh, as you would imagine that the WeChat one uh, keeps performing well when the re resolution goes down. It also does better when we have a blurry image, etc. So that was the demo I wanted to show. Uh, it's an excellent uh, detector that we have. Uh, for QR codes. Uh, it's a very good alternative. And I would actually recommend that for pretty much any application, uh, you should start using the WeChat QR code scanner instead of the default OpenCV uh, scanner. Unless you know there are some very strict limitations uh, you have in terms of processing time or um, uh, things like that. But even then, this thing is uh, very fast. It works uh, in real time on most uh, processors. So check it out. Uh, we have also shared the code. We have shared all these example examples. We have showed, shared the code in both C++ as well as in Python. I hope that uh, this uh, video was very useful. It was instructional. And uh, go check it out. Thank you.